guys and welcome or welcome back to our channel. I'm Marianne and I'm Miriam and we post DIY videos, cooking recipes and room makeovers. So if you're interested in that sort of content, don't hesitate to subscribe. Um, today we prepared a, a DIY project with clay. We did three projects, three small projects that are all related <laughs> <laughs> that are all related to tableware. So we did coasters, napkin rings, and small uh, knife stands. It was really fun because it brought back memories <laughs> from when we were younger. We used to love uh, playing with clay. So I think that we're gonna make uh, more videos like these in the coming weeks. So let's get started. So we're gonna start. Um, our first project will be maybe coasters. We saw uh, videos of people putting pepper and it made like a nice texture and we thought maybe we can do coasters with this texture. So this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start by taking our um, clay. clay and yeah, putting some pepper, playing with it and making coasters. Oh my God. You know that I tried, yeah, I really tried. Oh, you gave me that feeling. You gave me the feeling of the free. So trapped until I found you Until I found you Now all I feel is free You know that I would never leave you Cause I feel free Yeah, all I feel is free Now, to have the same thickness for the... for our coasters, we put two books and we're gonna... And now we're gonna take coasters that we have and we're gonna make a cut a circle with our cutter this like so and so this way we have our coaster and what we have to do is just use some water to to make sure that the edges look good so i'm gonna get some water okay yeah i really tried oh you gave me that feeling you gave me the feeling i think i'm gonna add a bit of pepper pepper on top just a little bit I'm gonna I'm gonna put just some water on the edges to make it you know and it's okay if it looks not so perfect because we're kind of going for an organic look then we got some um, some cute letters oops stamps stamps <laughs> and you can uh, oops put some some letters i'm going to write something a bit personal <laughs> so when it's done we have to put them on the side to dry i think they take a long time to dry can i just <laughs> because we didn't read it prior okay so we don't know i'm i think 24 hours maybe 24 hours or 48 hours i'm just gonna show you how it looks like now and then when it dries yeah, I really tried. Oh, you gave me that feeling. You gave me the feeling of the free. I felt so trapped until I found you. Until I found you. Now all I feel is free. You know that I would never leave you. Cause I feel free. Yeah. 
So we're now going to try to make knife stands. I don't know if they're called like this, but it's small pieces on which you can place your knife when you're eating. So we will, we will do them in small rectangles and try to color them later. So we're, we're using the same technique for the, with the books to have the same uh, thickness as for the coasters. And for this one, we're going to keep the white clay to color them later on. So Miriam already has these and we want to just take um, around the same size, but we're going to be doing simple uh, rectangles. So we're not going for something very straight. We're going to keep an organic, natural look. So even if they are not exactly perfectly rectangle, it's fine. Um, so the next project is going to be a napkin ring. Um, so again, we're gonna do the same thing to make sure, so roll it with these two books. So we have the same thickness and then we're gonna cut some long rectangles and uh, do the ring. So let's go. So now I'm going to try to cut straight lines with a guide because I don't have a ruler. It was back in the time, yeah, back in the time when you and I were something. It was back in the time, oh yeah. And I'm also going to measure um, how long I'm making them so I can do the same for all of them. We ended up flattening them a little more because they were too thick. In order to join the two edges of our napkin ring, we roughen the places where they're gonna meet in order for them to stick better. So now we're gonna let them dry. 
So for the coasters, uh, first, uh, what we wanted to say is that they took more time than expected to dry. So I think they took around four to five days. So you have to think of this before you do them. And now we're one week later and we're gonna do the final step. So for the coasters, we decided to spray them with a permanent spray that is matte uh, to keep this natural look. So for the knife stands and napkin rings, uh, we decided to put some color in them. We want to try to do the watercolor effect and then maybe spray them with a, um, not matte, but glossy, you know, glossy spray to have, to try to have the ceramic finish. Um, so we'll see if we'll be able to do that. And uh, we decided to go with the color blue, but you can do whatever color you want. So let's try. So the idea is to start, I think, with the dark and then try to make it clearer. Let's try. You know that I tried, yeah, I already tried. Oh, you gave me that feeling. You gave me the feeling of the free. I felt so trapped until I found you. Until I found you, now all I feel is free. You know that I would never leave you, cause I feel free. Yeah, all I feel is free. I feel free. We used the same technique for the napkin rings. However, we wanted the layers to be less linear and more rough, which we couldn't do with the knife stands because the surface area is smaller. So once the painting is dry, we're gonna spray them to have a glossy finish. And we have to spray them several times. This is what's written on the can to have this real glossy finish every two minutes. So this is what we're gonna do. Yeah, I really tried, oh, you gave me that feeling. You gave me the feeling of a free. I felt so trapped until I found you. Until I Thank you for watching, we hope you liked it. If you have any recommendations for things that we can make with clay, please let us know in the comments. Yeah, we bought so much clay, so <laughs> we need ideas. <laughs> we need ideas. <laughs> so if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, um, subscribe, and you can also follow us on Instagram to see what we do on a daily basis. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Everything.